can you figure out how to make all these numbers right here equal to 36? Well, here is the challenge. We have 7, 5, and 3, and you get to use any combination of these symbols right here. Now, if you actually understand basic math, this should be a pretty easy problem. And if you know the answer, put that into the comments section. Of course, I'm going to fully solve this in just one second. But uh, let me tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. Okay, so let's get into this problem right now. As long as you understand basic math operations like how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide numbers, you should be able to figure out the answer to this problem. Now over here we have some parentheses and this is going to come in handy as well. But uh, anyone that knows how to uh, do basic number operations should be able to figure out the answer. So what we can do is just try different number operations. So maybe we can add these numbers up. So 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 plus uh, 7 is not going to be equal to 36. So certainly this is not the answer. Now let's maybe try uh, multiplication. So if we multiply all these numbers together, well, 15 times 7 is certainly not equal to 36. So we could just kind of try different things, right? We can use addition, we can use uh, multiplication, or maybe division and multiplication. But hopefully, eventually, some of you might be saying, well, let's see here. Maybe if I add these numbers together and then multiply, we can get the answer. So maybe 7 plus 5 is going to be 12, and 12 times 3 is 36. Okay, so if you figured out that addition and multiplication are the correct operations here, well, that is fantastic. I have to give you a nice little happy face, but guess what? This is not the right answer. So I know a lot of you are saying, hey, what are you talking about, Mr. YouTube Math Man? 7 plus 5 is, of course, uh, 12, and then 12 times 3 is 36. So why is not uh, this uh, combination of number operations the correct solution? Well, there is an excellent reason, and I'm going to tell you that in just one second. Real quick, if you want my best math instruction, you definitely got to check out my full courses. Again, you can find links to these in the description of this video, but they span basic math to advanced math and everything in between. Okay, so let's keep going with this problem. And don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so why is 7 plus 5 times 3 not equal to 36? And again, a lot of people are looking at this work and saying, come on, Mr. YouTube Math Man, 7 plus 5 is 12 and 12 times 3 is 36. Well, that is all logical. Unfortunately, we are looking at this problem wrong. Now, what am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about something called the order of operations. So we need to go to our PEMDAS checklist. Now, if you're not familiar with PEMDAS, it's a little acronym that tells us the proper order of operations in a math problem. Now, what is a mathematical operator? Well, it's these things right here to include powers and parentheses. So we need to follow this checklist strictly from left to right in order to produce the right answer. Okay, so what does P stand for? Well, P stands for parentheses or grouping symbols. So if you have any parentheses in your math problem, you need to do those first. Now, E stands for exponents or power. So if you had like two to the third power, this little three up there is an exponent. The two is the base, the entire thing is a power. But if you had any powers in your problem, you would do those next. Now, M, D, A, and S stand for multiplication division and addition and subtraction. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is not just multiplication. We're gonna do any multiplication or division we may have in a problem from left to right. And then lastly, if there's any addition and subtraction, we'll finish up with that from left to right. Okay, so thinking about the PEMDAS checklist here, we can kind of go back to this combination of uh, number operations and say, all right, well, I want to get a 12 and multiply it by 3 because that will get me to 36. And that is great thinking. Unfortunately, if we have an addition sign here and a multiplication sign here, 
what we have to do is not addition first. We have to do the multiplication first. So 5 times 3 is 15, and then 15 plus 7 is not going to get us to 36. All right, so if you figure that out, that is fantastic. But there is an easy fix here, and that is to put parentheses around the 7 and 5, right? So we uh, just make this a group. So now thinking about the order of operations, we're going to do this first. All right, so 7 plus 5 is 12, and 12 times 3, of course, is 36. So this is the correct solution. Okay, so if you figured out the right answer, that is fantastic. I definitely have to give you a nice little happy face and an A+. Now, if you're ready to continue to build your math skills, let me give you a few uh, suggestions. One, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel as I'm posting videos pretty much every day on all levels of mathematics. So if you just kind of watch my videos, you will learn a lot of math. But what you really want to do if you want to improve in mathematics is to kind of do it in a very logical order. In other words, learn basic math and move on to algebra, geometry, etc. So if you're interested in improving any one of your math skills at those levels, make sure to check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. All right. So with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.